I've always been motivated by the technical side of our field, how you can use technologies to gain new insight into the world and to really explore what's possible. That some people find beauty in art, in music, but science is beautiful. And I think that most scientists are in science because of this beauty. So we are really pioneers, seeing things for the first time. We are, we're going out there, that map is completely white, and we're going out there and trying to populate it. So that is why it's so exciting to study particle physics, because we have so much still to find out. The universe is so, it's complex, but uh, it's beautifully made so that we can understand. <laughs> exactly, the unknown is a lot more, more exciting. What is our position within the universe, right? This is the, the most fundamental question. What are we made for? So it's like when you are constructing a puzzle that the pieces start to be put together and forming a big figure. So I study collisions between protons that leads to the production of B, mesons, B hadrons. It's a type of particle. We have our best theory of nature, which is called the standard model of particle physics. And this makes very specific predictions. But these predictions have some uncertainty. When the puzzle is finally completed, it happened that there are some pieces at hand that do not fit the standard model. We have now a sample of B mesons decaying to some specific particles that simply do not fit the theory very well at the moment. And so there must be something else there. This like, big insight has been there waiting for someone to pick it up if only someone asked the right question and with the right tools. A gravitation wave, it ripples in space and time itself. This leaves echoes traveling through space to us. Objects that you cannot see with the normal visual light, and we capture that signal. And to do that, we need to overcome a seismic wall, the noise we get from nature. This is the waves crashing on the seashore and from people and cities. So we believe with our new instrument, the Einstein telescope that we're going to build, we can go way beyond what optical telescopes can see, even into a region where we believe there are not even stars yet. That lets us reach deeper and deeper into the universe to measure the collisions of all of the stellar mass black holes in the universe. So my work is really to, to look into the physics and then say, okay, what exactly do I need to model? I think model building is always uh, making it simpler in exactly the right way. How can I do this in the computer in the best way? It's simpler than reality, but it's so complex that it can do all this kind of complicated physics that we need, the gravitation waves, the quantum optics, in the correct way. And I program that to see what we should build in reality. This can give us some deep insight into cosmic history, into how the heavy stars that made the elements that we are made out of were formed in the first place. So I try to connect theories and data in various manners to try to understand really what's going on in these uh, very high energy collisions. So this is going to be a game changer and is going to provide with us with essentially a new map, a new guideline to try to investigate what comes beyond the standard model. First piece of a new puzzle that can be a much, much bigger 3D puzzle. And these can change the way you think about the universe. They can change our understanding of science. So perhaps that is not the end of the story, but one thing I can guarantee, it will be exciting. <laughs>